what's up guys so today we're gonna debadge the bends so I'm gonna use a little goo gun a heat gun as well as you can use floss but I have some braided fishing line so let's go ahead and debadge this car and the cool thing about this gun it has a has a low I think it's about 700 or 500 um, I'll put the details in the description and I got this off of Amazon the Wagner had some good reviews so basically, we'll just uh, do what we did on the other side. Heat up the emblems a little bit. And remember guys, it doesn't take that much heat to get this glue to get soft. As you see, this uh, braided line is cutting through it pretty fast. I think, I think that might be a GTR or an R8. I think there's an R8 uh, behind my house. There's this uh, paint shop. I think it's like a acid green R8. I'm not sure if it's a V8 or a, or a 10. But it's just like your floss on your teeth, you just get in, shimmy it a little bit. Oh, this five is a little harder than the other numbers. And you want to use either if you're using a floss or a braided line, you want to use a long piece because what happens is the glue gets on here and then uh, it gets a little harder to take off. So now we got the rest of this stuff. You can just rub off with your uh, fingernails. You don't want to use anything sharp, uh, even, even the plastic uh, putty knife or, or a blade will uh, damage it. This stuff just rubs right off, and whatever doesn't rub off will get off with the goo gone. So with this goo gone, I put it on the paper towel, and I just want to dab it on, just to get a nice amount on before I come back and uh, wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. You don't want to wipe it with the paper towel. Um, the paper towel is a little hard and you'll get some fine scratches. Um, on, on a white car, you really won't see it that much, but on a black car, you definitely will. So now we could uh, put some goo gone on this uh, microfiber cloth and let's get the rest of the goo off. So as you can see, this was a fairly easy project, as long as you have the right items. If you don't have the heat gun, you could also use a blow dryer. The blow dryer just takes longer to warm up. It doesn't get as hot as you need it to do, let's say, a wrap or a tint, but it does get the glue hot enough for you to be able to get it off. Uh, definitely a nice clean look. Um, but I do recommend if you do do this, uh, emblems have been on your cars for a couple of years uh, and there hasn't been no wax to protect the paint. So the paint's going to be a little bare, so definitely wash the car as well as put a nice coat of wax on it.